All right, so I've got a Dakin Multi, and um, basically it stopped cooling. So indoor fan works, but not just no cooling. So the interesting thing about this one is when you do a like a normal um, like fault code check on the controller, nothing shows up. Just using the normal method of holding the cancel button down um, but when you do the alternative method um, it actually comes up with a U0 fault so I don't know why it doesn't come up the normal way but anyway it's got a U0 fault all I've done is open the panel and instantly you can see a lot of oil on this flare nut you can't really see with the poor lighting but that's definitely oily that 3 8 Planet. And the interesting thing about that is it's two quarter three eight pipes. That's quarter fine. That's three eight fine. That's quarter fine. Now this one is actually half inch. So I'm assuming they've used that brass connector to make it okay for three eight. A lot of people don't like that. Um, they don't like that it. I don't know, they just reckon it leaks. I personally have never had one leak, but for whatever reason, some people have an issue with it. So, yeah. I don't know why, but it's the point I'm making is it's not. I'm not surprised that it's on only that one that it's leaking. But I'm gonna nitro test it to confirm by going off the oil. I'm pretty confident that's going to be leaking under pressure. Got pressure, but if you turn it on, I'm very confident that um, the pressure will just go down. So I'm gonna do a pressure test anyway. So I'm gonna get that sorted, and then I'll show you if that's leaking or not. But it's got a standing pressure of over 1,100 kPa. So, I'll show you that it's definitely leaking, guaranteed. Let me try to get it to focus on it. There we go. Yeah, she's leaking. All right, so I just went and asked her if she wanted to get the um, installer back to do this under warranty. And unfortunately, she thinks that that won't happen. So she just wants me to go ahead and fix this. But I just wanted to check before I do anything. Because it's only like a couple of years old. I don't know what everyone else does. Honestly, I have no idea. But I just give people a five-year warranty. For the unit, for my installation, whatever.
All right, I'm gonna re-pressure test it now. blow my gauge. Already done this a million times. But... It's not bubbling anymore. I've already like I'm not just doing this once. I've already done it a few times. Alright, so about to vac this thing, but I'm honestly in shock. So this particular customer, like I said, this is two years old. Um, on the invoice that she got, it says that it's a 6.8 kilowatt, but this is a 5.2 kilowatt. Um, it feels like they quoted up on something that they didn't actually do. It's getting really windy up here. So I've got to get this done. I don't have faith in this magnet. Stitch up. So, as you can see, it's a 3MX, 5.2 kilowatt. She, on the invoice, it says 4MX, um, 6.8 kilowatt. So what she paid for and what she got are two totally different things. Which is so wild. And we only found that out because I went and offered, not offered, I asked her, do you just want to get them back to fix it so she doesn't have to pay anything? She didn't want to, um, but that's when we found out. And um, what I think is they've quoted her that. And then she only got two heads put on it, two bedrooms. So this like if you got two 2.5 kilowatt units running off this this will manage fine so she would never know but still she was just asking me about potentially putting a third unit in and all of a sudden this is a bit small which is absolutely wild that sort of, sort of stuff shouldn't happen eh? especially in Australia that's completely and utterly like just not okay Alright, so we need 1.8 kilos of R32. Never understood that. Literally come with bolts. <laughs> 